Lord Jesus Christ, we've nowhere else to go but to thee. No wonder why we are gathered here tonight, Lord, to talk to you because you are everything that we so desire or every, anything that we so need. Heavenly Father, may you come tonight and speak to our hearts and get us delivered and fill every heart with the power of the Holy Spirit that will then enable us, Lord Jesus Christ, to live in this dead world. Lord Jesus Christ, above every sin, above every challenge, above any other thing that the devil may shoot towards us. In Jesus' name I pray, Father, giving all glory and honor to you for thou art my God. I pray that, Father God, you be manifested among your people through your power, blessed Savior, being seen in the material because you are God, you operate in the spirit, but at the end of it, oh Lord, you find yourself operating among the people and manifesting yourself through the physical. In Jesus' name, we wish to see more and more of God. Let the power of God be, blessed Savior, without summit to us, that we may see more of you every day and never, blessed Savior, we be satisfied. We want to keep coming and coming after you every day. In Jesus' name, we pray that you bless me also, even as I shall minister this evening. In Jesus' name, I have surrendered everything unto you. Amen. God bless you, saints. We are here once again. Uh, we, this is the second day of our consecration week. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is with us and is with you. He is with every one of us here. He's going to do great things. I don't doubt that the Lord Jesus Christ is definitely going to answer your prayer. The reason why you are here is because you believe. And God honors those that believe. Because all those that come to you must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And if you are here as a believer... You must be able to believe that God is a reward of them that diligently seek him. If you are among them that diligently seek him, you should know then that he can reward you. And you don't have to doubt because indeed he can re re reward. So I believe that God can reward you. Uh, let us just stand to our feet. I want to speak for a few minutes here because we want to devote most of our time to prayer. Today is our second day like I have already alluded to. And now our desire is to go through the whole week in prayer uh, with the youth uh, and uh, all those that are comfortable joining us it's uh, it's not like it's for the youth only the the door is open even to the married the door is open even to any other person who may feel like joining us so join us in prayer join us in fasting uh, even if you have not fasted don't feel like I don't want to go to church today because I have not fasted. Others are fasting. No, that's not an issue. You come as you are. There is still hope for you. And don't think that if you have not fasted today, then you are not going to receive what you want. Oh, that must not be the case. That must not be the cause of you doubting God. God can still work with you without fasting. God can still work with you even when you have fasted. However, our <coughs> desire is that everyone join us in fasting and be part of the fasting team and that we save the Lord from the depth of our hearts and do everything that we can to draw closer to God because there is this promise that he draw nigh unto me so that I will draw nigh unto you. So God can only draw nigh unto us when we do first draw nigh unto him. So we are here as a people consecrating ourselves as a measure to draw near to him that he may also draw near unto us. So I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to bless you. And now uh, that we must make sure as we come that we have prayer targets. Don't just come like a person who doesn't know where they are going to. Don't be like a person who, who, who doesn't... You know, if you don't know where you want to go, any wind can take you there if you are a sailor. But if, if, if you are someone who is just walking, if you don't know where you are going, any road can take you there. So you need to have prayer targets and you know what, why you are here. Because if you don't know why you want to go, where you want to go, what for, then what it means is you will never be able to measure. Because every target and every goal must be measurable. You must be able to measure and say, God, I remember in 2023. I remember. There must be something that you will remember about these meetings. And it can only be remembered if you have it in mind. If you have it noted down. So that you will be able to refer and say, God answered my prayer that very day. And God is going to do it. Shall we open our Bibles to the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 17. Let's read the 17th verse. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 17. Wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of the promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. Then verse 18 says, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation. We have fled refuge we, to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Now we are talking of a people here. So, uh, God is a servant of his immutability. God bless you. 
we god is a servant of his word we can take our seats god is a servant of his immutability god is compelled by, by his immutability it is his immutability that compels him so when we talk of immutability we are talking of his, the the impossibility to fail the the impossibility to change it is impossible for god to change it is impossible for god to fail it is impossible so when we say impossible this is where the word impossible works on any other thing it doesn't it applies only when we talk of god failing when we talk of god getting to a point of a uh, failing to abide by what he said then we can say ah that one is impossible that's where impossible fits well than anywhere else we try to use it the word impossible goes with a, a, it's a, a, an interesting word when we talk to a, about it with any other person who doesn't believe they feel like uh, there are things which cannot be done but not with god now god is this nature with in him i think i will run through uh, what the prophet says about god's nature god's nature uh, is that he is a uh, omnipotent god is powerful he is known for being powerful and he, by being omnipotent he has got power and is more powerful he is all might by so saying it means he has got power to do anything that he so wishes to do he has no limit anything that he wants to do he can do so when we are talking to god when we come before god we must have this understanding first that we are talking to him who has got the power to do anything he is the only one who can do anything without limitations so when we are coming before God we must come with this understanding that God who happens to be our father is the power to do anything. So when we come to him we must have the understanding that we are approaching the almighty God. So he has got these attributes in him that he cannot fail at anything. Give him any test he will pass it. Give him any challenge he will overcome it. That makes him God. So God is this power is this attribute in him which makes him a, a god that cannot fail and he is omnipotent that's why we want to talk about this god so for a few minutes i want to drive this and get it to be understandable to be understood by every heart that is here that god is here to he is inclined is here to you that you may speak to him but now the challenge that we have with people they don't want to speak when they get into the presence of god at one time moses said this bunch of people the israelites the children of god when they were coming all the way from israel they go to a time when god himself had to come down when moses had challenged god and called upon god god had to come down and when god came down his presence filled the tent and every other person was crying right there people were rolling all over because they were full of that power and they were afraid of the power of god that had descended but in that presence while others were crying others were running up and down others were just shouting hallelujah others were doing whatever they were doing that's when moses took advantage and said lord during this consecration time i don't want just to shout i don't want just to cry i don't want just to run i don't want just to roll what i'm here for lord i want to be very honest honest with you these people whom you have given me are a problem and i don't want to continue with these people without you present with me so from now onwards god i want you to tell me who will go with me who will i go with with these people everyone else was crying people were crying all over there some were shouting some were praising god some were running up and down some were with their eyes closed and moses said lord and that's what we have God now talking of Moses and it is said Moses spoke to the Lord in that particular time when everyone else was crying and shouting hallelujah everyone was here that the anointing had descended it was good and indeed it is good when the anointing comes down but it's also good that when the anointing comes down you then name your request one by one fear not when God comes down when the anointing comes down don't waste the anointing make full utilization of the anointing that descends ngati shandi saying don't just waste that space don't just waste that opportunity make use of that grace so in this consecration days i don't want you to waste any opportunity don't miss a target know why you are here know your problems god's power is no limit let me take you to this quotation before uh, i get to closing you see the prophet says and now this one has become our theme for this one uh, for, for this consecration and now when the brethren received the baptism of the holy ghost they said this is the summit 
These are brothers who have received the Holy Ghost and now they are saying, we have reached, we have gotten it, it's enough. And we have many brothers out there who are saying, brothers, the most important thing and the only thing that we need is the Holy Ghost. Once you get the Holy Ghost, then there is no need for any other thing. You're okay. You can, you're good to go. It's true you're good to go, but you still have opportunities and things which you can still have, which if you want, you can take. If you don't want, you can leave. And we want this church to know that. It will be cruel for us not to tell the church that it does not end in the Holy Ghost. It does not end with receiving the Holy Ghost. When God has given you the Holy Ghost, he can still give you things. Because the Holy Ghost has the capacity to give you more things than just the Holy Ghost. So when you receive the Holy Ghost, don't stop there. Because the Holy Ghost is there to do something more and more. See now, the brethren thought that that was all. And they were glad with it and they were satisfied. They could go in with their rags and they had no problem moving around in rags because to them it was okay. They had received the Holy Ghost and they thought it was enough. But now here the Holy Ghost himself is now speaking through the prophet. The, they thought this is the summit. This is all of it. But the brethren, that's wrong. See? That is wrong. There is no summit to the power of God. We move on and on and on. It's unlimited. It's unlimited resources of God. It's never been tapped yet. Blessings and powers that we know nothing about. It's never been even revealed to archangels. It's laying just ahead of his church and, that will, and those that believe. So it's something that is before them that believe. So what the things are, we will only know them through those that have believed. That's when we begin to know that, oh, this was also part of the package. Oh, this was also part of the package. I will show you by scripture. Even when the angel came and approached Mary, we first knew that a person can have a child by the Holy Ghost without meeting a man. It started by Mary. It was something that was reserved for years and ages. We only knew it when Mary believed. And when she believed, that is when the angel of God then said, blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance. So blessed is she that believed, for unto her there shall be a performance. So the only limit is your faith. Do you believe it? If you believe it, no matter how nonsensical it may seem, it can be given to you. God can do it as long as it does not preach the word of God. It's okay. Believe it, take it, leave it if you don't want. But the truth of the matter is, there is no summit to the power of God. God can give you, on top of the Holy Ghost, several other things. And brethren, let us not lie to the people. Let us not lie to believers. Let us tell the believers the truth, that there are other untapped things which God can give to his people. And this he will do because he is God who is immutable. He cannot change what he said. Because he swore by himself to strengthen and to confirm that he is indeed immutable. And he said, in blessing, I will bless thee. That is the swear. That's why he swore. When he swore, he said, in blessing, I will bless you. Now, brethren, let us not argue about what blessings they are. I've, many, I've had many people saying blessings are not cars, blessings are not houses, blessings. Yes, they may not be according to your definition, but according to my definition, blessings should not be bad things. I think blessings, we all agree. I may not be able to define them, but one thing that I know about blessings, they must be something good. And you can't tell me that suffering is good. I know suffering is bad. I've suffered enough. I know how to suffer and I know how to enjoy. I've had an opportunity to enjoy. I've had an opportunity to suffer. And I know suffering is not part of a blessing. That I can tell you. So if it makes me suffer, it's not a blessing. Brothers, don't listen to whoever that tells you that a car cannot be a blessing. It's a blessing to whosoever likes it to help them. It... it it can be a case. I've never been in a situation where having money made it worse. Personal, I, I, I have never been there. Where having money made my problems worse. That's something else. You may have had that problem well, but I have never been there. I would rather chat into those waters now in this world. And I will not wait for the world to come. Because these are material, worldly things which should be enjoyed now in this world. Houses and lands, look, Mark chapter 10. You see, houses and lands are given to people. Now in this world, 
there are things which are designed for the package of believers and this package consists of material worldly blessings and it also consists of heavenly eternal blessings and it's up to you to take them or to leave them if you want to take heavenly eternal blessings alone you can choose and take them there is nothing wrong with that you are you can choose. Make a choice. The decision is yours. The choice is yours. But the scripture says, what does the scripture say in that? Go to verse 29 and 30. You will see it there. Now that, that in blessing, he promised you to bless. And then he, he swore by himself. And because of that swearing that he did, he cannot fail. And he proved to the people that he cannot fail. And now we see here Mary conceiving without a husband. To prove that God is the one that creates he can create a child where there is no husband. He can make a child and put it in someone's womb where there is not even a child. Not only that, we hear this woman of, uh, uh, with the blood issue. When we see that woman, she gets to Jesus. Everyone else was saying, hey, Jesus, help us. Everyone else was trying to talk to Jesus and the woman didn't care about talking to Jesus. She just believed. Blessed is she that believed. For unto her, there shall be performance. And this one now, while everyone else was busy clamoring, oh, you see, you want to go to Jesus before me? You want to do this before me? I came here earlier than you. I should be attended earlier than everyone else. You see, now these are coming after me. It's not fair, brethren. While everyone else was doing that, she believed and went straight to the hem of his garment. And then she just touched the hem of the garment. And her issue stopped right away. There are things which you don't need to think about. You don't need to listen to the noise of the world. You don't need to listen to anyone. You know what you want. It's you who is suffering. And somebody tells you that healing is nothing. These things are not of God. Or, or somehow they don't take us to heaven. They don't take us to heaven, but they help me to rest peacefully when I sleep at home. I, 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 I'm not only supposed to go to heaven. I, why should I go to heaven sick when heaven is full of blessings that make me uh, well? I have to be well. Now you see, somebody says, no, you, you are having a lot of trouble and you don't care about that because Jesus Christ says the poor, uh, it's, it's not the poor as according to your definition. What we call poor varies from person to person because that is a very subjective term which needs to be defined accordingly. And then here we see the prophet, a poor man of all the poorest people. And he says, I chose to be poor. Yet he could fly to any place which he so wished to go. Uh, without any question, and you have never been to the airport itself. Then, then you think you are, yours is not poverty. You are far below poverty standards. So when you, you say, hey, riches, riches, brethren, we don't have rich people here. Let's stop talking about riches. Let's talk about Jesus. He's the giver of good gifts. He, we are not preaching riches. We are preaching the blessings that should come to materialization. They must come to be material. I don't want a blessing that remains in the spirit. Who will quantify that? If you don't know how many resources you have, how are you going to be able to control them? How are you going to control something that you are not seeing? It's just somewhere in the air. God is blessing me. What has he done to show that he has blessed you? Even Samson, during his eight days, when he was just a young man, the Holy Spirit would come and move him. He would move him. Somehow, there must be a movement. You can't be just a young man. Not movement, no. There must be a performance of some sort. Because unto them that believe, a performance must be made. And God is a servant of his word. And he is immutable. It is his immutability that compels him to act. Not your goodness. Not that you are clean. Not that you are good. Not that you have fasted too much. But he is compelled by his word. Which you are supposed to believe. Believe it and see if it doesn't work. Now you see this woman just touched the hem of his garment and after that the whole thing was done. Everything was settled. The whole issues, all issues were done. Now people now, you see when you move on from there, after she had done that, uh, you, did, did you realize that when you go, this happened on Matthew chapter 9 verse 20. When you go to Matthew chapter 14 verse 35 to 36, now it was like every other person was now coming to Jesus and they only desired to touch the hem of his garment. Now this woman has done it. She has shown them how it is done. 
Everyone else wanted to talk to Jesus. Now they realize, no, it's not about talking to him. We can just go to Jesus and get what we want and then go back home. It's possible to believe us. If you believe it, touch him, go, you are okay. And now here we see there was a bunch of people now. See now, now there were a bunch of people. On that, 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 that is in Luke chapter, Matthew chapter 14, verse 35. You put it there. It was a bunch of people clamoring now. They were all over Jesus. They were only desiring to touch the hem of his coming. Just to touch. We had started this gospel. It was this woman. She believed and unto her it was performed. We would have not known that even touching a garment can save. And when, and when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him. What were brought to him? All that were diseased. Not some of the diseased people. All of the people who were sick in that city. They were brought there. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. This time it was not like Jesus pray for me. No, no. It was Jesus permit us only to touch the hem of your garment. Where was that gospel started? Where did it start it? From that woman who believed. You can believe here and you can start a new thing. Yeah, you can start a new thing. Now I'm almost done. Now you can start a new thing. That's where we are. You can start a new thing. We can start a new thing. Even if the whole world fail to believe it. We can believe and start a new thing. That's what Oscar did when he got to Brother Branham. Brother Branham said, I've never prayed for a case like this one. And he said, Brother Branham, pray God. Brother Branham says, no, Oscar, the ponies were eaten by wild animals. They were eaten by bears. And then Oscar said, Brother Branham, I don't care bears or no bears. Pray God. Brother Branham, pray God that Oscar wants his ponies back. Don't tell God a lot of nonsense. Go to God, Brother Branham. Tell God, Oscar wants his ponies. I'm challenging you. Is there any situation tonight which you think is impossible? Is there any challenge tonight which you think cannot be addressed? Is there any filthiness tonight which you think God cannot wash? Is there any failure tonight which you think God cannot forgive? Is there any weakness tonight which you think God cannot address? I challenge you. I know God is God. He is God of the impossible. He is compelled to act by his immutability. He does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he does in the spirit materializes. It manifests itself in the flesh. What he does in the spirit manifests in the flesh. I want it to manifest on your flesh. I don't care what happens. Oscar said, Brother Branham, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot take that, Brother Branham. I can't take it. Brother Branham, tell God Oscar wants his ponies back. How many Oscars do we have? Oscar wants his ponies back tonight. Oscar wants his ponies back tonight. Oscar wants his ponies back. Are you failing? Where are you failing? Tell God, I want my ponies back. I'm challenging some brothers. I'm challenging some sisters somewhere with this testimony. When Brother Branham got to a certain brother, when he was there, the brother had a wife. And the wife started to back with a, a truck driving their car. They smashed on their little dog. And the dog died right there. And when the dog died, Brabram says, some concrete, you see, could just could be seen because it was smashed and it was flat right on the concrete, on the pavement there. And Brabram says, I noticed that even the veterinary doctor could not do anything. So if they took the dog to the veterinary doctor, he would just kill it. And now I said to them, can you give me the dog? Then I took the dog. I went away. I brought the bag. I brought the dog back. It was following me perfectly well. I'm talking of a dog. If a dog could be so much of a matter, till God will bring back to life a dog. What manner of a request do you have? There's no small request. There's no big request. There's no big request because with God, all things matter to them who love them. All things matter to them who love them. 
What do you love? What do you want? What do you like? What is your purpose? What is your desire this evening? Whether it's a dead dog, it's you who want it rise today. Do you rise it back? You, you want it back to life. It's a dog. Yes, it's a dog. But you want it back. It's a dog. So I don't want to trivialize your request as we stand to our feet. I don't want to trivialize your request. I don't want to tri trivialize your request. I don't want to trivialize your request. Do like Ango Bad Robinson and tell God tonight that Lord Jesus Christ, can you send me the power of the Holy Spirit tonight? I cannot continue like this. I want to be a completely changed person. If you don't send me the Holy Ghost, you will find my bones here. You will find a pile of bones when you come back. Lord Jesus Christ, attend to me, oh God. Meet me, oh God, this evening. I want to take you into a mode of prayer. Be ready to talk to God this evening. I'm done preaching. I just want you to know that it all depends on your attitude. When he, the man of God said, shoot the arrow of deliverance, he should have shot and shot and shot and shot, but he shot, shot and stopped. And then he says, that's your problem. You are going to have only a little because you did not shoot. You should have consumed Syria. Never again to talk of Syria. Even today, Israel should not have been talking about Syria. It should have been consumed that day. But now, because he did not shoot enough, now we have a problem with Syria. This is the problem that we always have. People don't want to shoot long enough. Shoot many enough. I want you to shoot. Don't care. So pile your requests one by one. Let the Holy Ghost be one of them. But among together with the Holy Ghost, get more and more and more and more because God is war. And to Cornelius, he did the same. He said, Cornelius, your prayers and your arms have been remembered. And when he did that, he then blessed the Cornelius. He blessed the Cornelius. Even before baptism, Cornelius received the Holy Ghost. You can as well receive the Holy Ghost. If there is someone somewhere who has not yet been baptized, you can start by receiving the Holy Ghost now. And you go on and get baptized later. I know it's possible God can do it. As we all get to a time of prayer, I want you to be ready. When you approach God, don't approach like you fear for him. There is no summit to the power of God. There is no summit. It's never been ever revealed. And there are a lot of things which you should reveal to us. We must learn through you, even like what they did. They had to learn later that a shadow can heal the sick through the shadow of Peter. Because someone had started it, you can start it. They learned later that a prayer cloth from Paul can heal the sick. It started somewhere. It can start with you. Start a new thing. Start a new thing like Oscar as we all pray. Savior, our dear Heavenly Father, you have never failed at any given time. I know you are compelled to act by your word. Your immutability compels you to act. You cannot change and the circumstances cannot change you. Economies can come and go, but they cannot change you. People may have different attitudes, but they cannot change you. People may fail to believe, but that will not change you. You are God. You are
you don't limit God. Don't be guilty of limiting God. Don't be guilty of limiting God. You can start a new thing. You can start a new thing that was never heard before. You can start a new thing that has never happened. You can start a new thing tonight. Oh God, answer thou your people. Answer thou your children. Attend to your people, oh God. A new thing can be done tonight. A new thing can be done on any one of us. Any man, Lord, can start a new thing. It's possible. Father, we don't doubt that you are in our midst. We don't doubt that you are with us. We don't doubt that you can do great things. We don't doubt that you can heal even the worst of sicknesses. We don't doubt that you can give, Lord, even the least expected gifts. Father, we don't doubt that you can touch any one of your people. You can touch every one of them this evening, oh God. We give glory, we give honor to your mighty name. We worship you, we appreciate you. Father, there are people here who have been desiring to get married for long, but they have never, blessed Savior, got their, answers, pray, uh, their prayers answered. But Lord, you are there, like you did unto Cornelius. There was a day when you remembered their prayers. You can as well remember, Lord Jesus Christ, your people's prayers. Those who have got desires which have not yet been attended to, they are here, Lord, and you can attend to such desires. Those who have prayer requests which have not been answered yet, you are here tonight to attend to such prayer requests. Touch your people, oh God. Get a hold of your children. Deliver them from whatever challenge they may have. Heal the sick, oh God. Answer prayers, Savior divine. We don't doubt you are in our midst. Baba Murukumu Sorok Nenga. Zitare Yuru Gara Nuk Singape. Tino retained and look for it. Tino Kumbira Mayam Chene. Who's the Ruwe Pam Sorope Umene Ume? Ari Pagat Penuma Scatian has. One equi chains, Neko Neko Kukuru. Kufregiza chains, Neko Zirat Zamuyam. We are God who operates in spirit. And when you do operate in the spirit, you manifest in the flesh. And here we are, Lord. You like you promise that you have poured your spirit upon all flesh. Here we are gathered as flesh, waiting for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your people. And when the Holy Spirit comes down, Lord Jesus Christ, there is a reason and there is a purpose for your coming. Lord Jesus Christ, I know you cannot just come, but you come to address situation. And the Holy Ghost is there to address situations. The Holy Ghost is there to lead us into all truth, to lead us to every blessing, to lead us to every benefit, to lead us to everything that you have set aside for us. Father, we may not be able by ourselves to get to the levels which you have set aside for us. We may not be able to get to the type of blessings which you have set aside and you have stored aside for us until the Holy Ghost comes and fill us and guide us that we may be able to get to the blessings which you have set aside for us. Lord, come and lead your people. Lead your people, oh God. Guide your people, Lord Jesus. Attend to every need. Attend to every desire. Lead us by your mighty hand. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, take our hands. Lead us through to the platform where you have laid the blessings of the age, where you have the blessings of the hour, where you have laid the blessings that are made for this generation. Lord, we don't want to miss any one of those blessings. That is the reason why we keep calling on your name. We know, Lord, it's possible any man, any man that believeth, Lord, can receive. And we are here gathered in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that by your power, Lord Jesus Christ, we can receive any kind of a gift. We can receive any kind of a thing that you have set aside for us. We have a lot of things which are set in reserve. And we are here to take and that we may get all those. And we know, Lord, you are immutable. When you promise to bless us, you may be blessing us. And we are gathered here for that same blessing. Let the Holy Spirit lead us into every blessing which you have determined for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we don't doubt that you can do it. That is the reason why we are gathered. That is the reason why we call on your name. That is the reason why we are praying. We are praying because we believe it. We believe it and because we believe it shall be performed unto us. There shall be a performance to them that believe. And here gathered a people who believe, Lord, and these people, let it be that unto them a performance. 
be realized. And to them, a performance be noticed. And to us, let there be a performance so that it may be known that the God that we are talking about is alive tonight. He is able. He can give those that are desiring blessed Savior to get out of the situation they are, what they desire exactly. Lord, you can answer your people's prayer. This evening, Lord, may you get your people delivered. Tinora ira mwe ya yese, ya kasunga wana veyu, ino wa zivisa kuropa fatwa, ino wa zivisa kufara, ino wa zivisa kusuruguka, ino wa zivisa kukundia, nestera tenth Jesu Christu. May the Holy Spirit come and take complete control of your people. Father, we have no words, because words fail us, but we are so thankful tonight that you have been with us, and you are in us, you are among us, you can lead us, you can protect us, you can guide us, and you are here alone to give us that leadership. Oh, how we thank you, how we appreciate you. Continue in prayer. Continue talking to God. He is able to bless you. He is able to answer your prayer. He is able to attend to your situation. He knows you want the Holy Ghost. Like Bad Yerobi said, Say, Lord, the guided, where should I go? I cannot go anywhere, Lord Jesus Christ, until you fill me with the Holy Spirit. You can test him. You can feel him. You can be filled by the Holy Spirit. It's possible tonight. There is that opportunity. There is a possibility. That the waste of sinners can be saved this evening. There is a possibility. That the waste of sinners can be saved this evening. There is a possibility that the weakest of believers can be delivered this evening. You can be delivered tonight. You can be delivered tonight. You can be healed tonight. You can receive your desire tonight. You can be saved tonight. You can be filled by the Holy Ghost tonight. There is a possibility. Because God can do it. Again. And again. And again. He can do it. And there are more. And more. And more. On. And on. And on. Never tire. Never get tired. Never stop. Never let down the bars. Hold on and talk to your God. You know your situation. You have been in that condition for too long. You know your situation. You have been in that situation for too long. Ramba. Ramba. Refuse to be taken advantage of by the devil. You have been weak for too long. You have been in fornication for too long. You have been in lasting for too long. You have been living a sinful life for too long. It's long enough. Tell the devil, I don't want this kind of a life. Come before God and receive the Holy Spirit. You have suffered long enough. Suffering is not of God. Troubles are not from God. Troubles are not of God. Troubles are not a blessing. Suffering cannot be a blessing. Tell the devil, refuse terms and conditions which comes by the devil. Tell the devil, I don't subscribe to your terms and conditions. I will be married against all evil. I will get married against all evil. I will be healed against all evil. I will receive my house against all evil. I will receive the Holy Spirit against all evil. I will be healed against all odds. Refuse to be taken advantage of the devil. Father, this evening, we are refusing every one of us to have the devil taking advantage of us. We know there are people here who have struggled long enough and they should not continue struggling. There are people here who have suffered. I believe they have suffered long enough. Lord, answer their prayers. Remember their prayers. Remember their arms. Remember our desires. Remember our arms. Remember our conscience. Remember, Lord, our heart's desires. Remember our sincerity. Remember what we are here for. Remember your people, Lord. You can answer your pray their prayers. You can attend to their needs. You can attend to us, oh God. Baba, we don't want a weak young people. We don't want a weak young people. Young people are always in sin. Young people who always wallow in, uh, in filthy things. We don't want that kind of a life. Lord, may you help the youth to be free. 
from all for sorts of evil behaviors, all sorts of evil habits. Lord Jesus Christ, internet evil habits, those that have attended, Lord Jesus Christ, of living and visiting evil websites, cleanse them this evening. Deliver them from all sorts of evil. Those who have got a problem with lust, deliver them. Those who have got a problem with lying and cheating, deliver them, oh God. We know you can do it. And we are bringing our youth before you. We are bringing our young people before you. We are bringing every individual before you. We are bringing ourselves before you. Lord, come and touch us. Lord, come and attend to us. Lord, come and deliver us. Lord, come and bless us. Lord, come and lead us. Come protect us, O Savior divine. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, let your Holy Spirit fill every individual. Let your Holy Spirit wash every sinful person. Let your Holy Spirit here cleanse every person. Lord, those that are here, those that are home, and those that are watching and following you online, may every one of them receive their heart's desire. May they be cleansed, may they be filled, may they be powered, that it may be known that God, who is compelled by his immutability, does not change. When you said you will bless us, and according to your promise, you will bless us, and you swore by yourself that you will bless us, and Lord Jesus Christ, you are immutable, and it's possible for you to lie. Lord Jesus Christ, you can cannot fail. You cannot start failing at City Tabernacle. You cannot start failing on our youth. You cannot start failing on us. You cannot start failing on this church. You cannot start failing on your people who are all over. Father, we know there shall be a church without spot or ego and there shall be a pride without spot or ego. And we know it's possible. There is a possibility that you can be washed and be as clean and be as white as snow. There's a possibility that every person can be sanctified. There's a possibility that every person can be filled. There is a possibility that you can be strengthened and empowered. Lord, empower our youth, empower our young people, empower every brother, empower every sister. Let all devils that used to torment our youth, all devils that used to torment your people, be done away with, Lord. Right now, as I pray, I subdue the devil as I adjure every evil spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to depart right now and to have the Holy Spirit taking charge among your people. In Jesus' name, have you prayed, I believe, that blessed Savior, every youthful person who had challenges have been empowered to overcome and I believe it's possible. Lord Jesus Christ, let us not be limited to little things. Let us not be limited only to the Holy Ghost, but rather with you, Lord, let us get every other blessing that comes by the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost bring out to us a full package that we don't leave any blessing outside, but we take every blessing and we take everything that you have set aside and reserved for us. We know there are such blessings and we believe you can do it, oh God. Speak to us, Savior Divine, bless us as individuals. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we give glory. Father, we give honor. Father, we appreciate you. And we give honor and glory unto you for we know you are the giver of life. You are the giver of good gifts. You are the healer of the sick. And you are everything to us. And we pray, Heavenly Father, let your will be done. As your people, Lord, we are gathered in faith, knowing that what we have asked before you is possible and can be done. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. We pray, Heavenly Father, equip us and continue to equip us. Strengthen us and continue to strengthen us. Strengthen our hands for all. Keep us blessed. In Jesus' name, we thank you. There's no limit to God. There's no summit to God. Continue to pray. Continue in prayer. Don't stop at nothing. Continue to fight your way. You know the devils that have been following you. You know evil spirits that have been fighting your family. You know devils that have been following you year in, year out. You know that bad luck will always follow you. Evil spirits, misfortunes before you. Refuse those things tonight. You have the, the capacity. You have the capacity to tell the devil off. Satan is no right to linger in your life. Satan is no right to do anything in your life. Satan is no right to bite you. Satan is no right to hold you any longer. Satan is no right to withhold your blessing. You can receive your heart's desire. You can take whatsoever thing you desire. Even the simplest things you can think of, God can give you. It's possible tonight. Fear not. I don't care how many times you have prayed for it and it didn't happen. It can happen tonight. It can happen now. It can happen against all odds. Tell the devil, you will not take his terms and conditions. Let's all continue in prayer.
I will continue also in prayer in my own capacity. God bless you.